Hi, I'm Bob. Uh, I've been a member at Emanuel for a little over four years. Um, and during my time here, uh, I've had the great blessing of participating and, and leading with others uh, a couple of times uh, the Delta class that we offer here. Um, and I'm here for a Lenten devotional today. And I want to share with you uh, a verse and then connect it to something that we teach and we talk about a lot in Delta. And so the verse that I'm going to share is from Philippians uh, chapter 1, verse 6. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on until the day of Christ Jesus. In Delta, we talk a lot about the cycle of grief versus the cycle of grace and our acceptance into the world around us or our acceptance into Christ's kingdom. The cycle of grief is how the world conditions us to view ourselves and that we are a product of our accomplishments. It starts with achievement and activity. Essentially, the cycle of grief says we are what we do and we work really hard to achieve things and accomplish things. And when we do those, it leads us to the second part of the cycle of grief, which is our identity. And that's how the world views us. That's the labels that we get by the world. That's your job titles that you get by the world. And that leads us to the third phase, which is drivenness. Because our identity is tied to our achievement and accomplishments, we are driven to do more, to be better, to work harder. And ultimately that's supposed to lead to acceptance, which is the fourth stage of the cycle of grief. And acceptance is essentially the result of doing things really well or pleasing somebody else. And when we're not able to achieve acceptance uh, through our accomplishments and through our good works, the cycle starts all back over again. And essentially what happens is we end up on what's called the achievement hamster wheel with really no way to get off of it. And so the world turns us really into human doings and not human beings. As Lent continues, we focus on the cross and we can rejoice that we don't have to look to our achievements, our achievements to find acceptance. We just have to look to Jesus. Lent doesn't end at Lent. It ends with an open tomb that Christ pried open with his pierced hands for us to do so that we, we don't have to do it. Even if we had to roll away that stone, we wouldn't be able to. We can't earn our way into heaven. So many times in my own personal life or my work life, I find myself working hard to gain acceptance or recognition. But the cycle of grace is how we are meant to live. And we are blessed that because of what Jesus did for us, because he saved us, we can live in the cycle of grace because Jesus paid the price for us to be saved. The cycle of grace tells us that we start with acceptance. Where the cycle of grief ended, that's where we start with the cycle of grace. And we're all already accepted because of what Jesus did for us. There is nothing we can do or not do to lose God's grace and God's love. The second part is substance. Because we are accepted and loved, we can spend time connecting and relating with God daily. The third phase is our identity. We are no longer what we do. We are saved by grace through faith, and that is who we are. Which leads us, leads us to our fourth and final phase of the cycle of grace, which is fruitfulness. Because Jesus saved us, we are able to live abundantly and bear fruit. Since we are saved, we are saved to grow. During this season, we should be thankful that we aren't human doings and instead we are human beings. That is because of what God, God sent Christ here to do for us. God started the work of sanctification in our earthly lives. He can finish the good work he started because we have been declared righteous by our faith. The work of salvation belongs to God, not to us. Will you pray with me? Father, thank you that you began this amazing work of grace in the soul of each believer. Let everything we do come from you, be inspired by you. Help us remember that nothing is important in our lives unless it glorifies you. Guide us this season to live our lives in the cycle of grace and not the cycle of grief. Thank you for saving us because we couldn't save ourselves no matter how hard we tried. Amen.